a preparation applied to the body, especially the face, to improve its appearance. Cosmetics were first used in ancient Egypt, where women and men lined their eyes with handmade coal to make their eyes appear bigger. Ever since, cosmetics have undergone drastic change and have now become a necessity all over the world. Today, there are cosmetics available for everything, ranging from skincare to hair care. Selling cosmetics has also become a successful way for big companies such as MAC and NARS to make money off of. However, the question remains, are cosmetics even safe for us? It's very important to know the molecules behind that uh, cream or serum or whatsoever it is. What is the study behind those serums? What are the possible side effects? How frequently we should use it? So I always study those first and then I start prescribing that product. If you're using a sunscreen as a cosmetic and it does not have any paraben or any other thing specific SPF then it's good for your skin. But if you're using other cosmetic products like for skin brightening or skin lightening then they might damage your skin. Not exactly if you're not allergic to it, if you're not hypersensitive to it, that it does not cause any. But otherwise it's a chemical obviously. If you have a dry skin that might damage your skin. I don't think say, uh, money is the issue here. When we talk about the more expensive brands, I think they are uh, to spending such amount of money on the you know, research and development of that product that the quality is assured, so that's why they are charging more. So once I was getting ready for a party, I was applying makeup and I applied blue kajal and uh, by the time I reached the party my eyes had turned red and they started swelling up I thought I've got some infection so next day I went and showed it to the doctor and he said I've got eye flu after a few months again I was applying this blue kajal not knowing that it was the kajal which was giving me problem and as I applied within an hour again the same thing happened my eyes turned red and started swelling up I thought it's not the right brand the quality is not fine so later i bought another blue kajal from a different store different company but after applying it the same thing happened again and ultimately i realized that it's something in the blue kajal that they put which harms the eyes it's not nothing to do with the brand
shooting a movie in Atlanta with Tyler Perry. And I woke up one morning, I couldn't swallow. And I knew I wasn't sick. And so I called a buddy of mine who was a doctor in Atlanta. And I said, you know, I, I think something's wrong. And I'm not sure what he said. Come on in. Next thing I know, later that afternoon, I'm sitting on a table with 16 needles sticking into my neck with ultrasound guiding them, extracting fluid. Um, I come back a week later. They tell me you have cancer and you should get surgery on your thyroid, get it removed, get a thyroidectomy as soon as possible. Had the surgery, everything was great, and then I wanted to research and find out ways that I could actually uh, be healthy. What I started to find is that what we put on our skin, you know, our skin is our largest organ in our body. Absolutely. And what we put on our skin, we absorb into our system. Our liver has to detoxify it and deal with it. And I found that 98% of the products have aluminum in them, have petroleum, which is oil, have parabens, which is, which is uh, uh, preservatives. Uh, that affects your endocrine system. Your liver has to deal with all of this. And if your liver is so weighed down, dealing with all these things you're putting in it, then it can't detoxify. So I started buying you know, all these natural products, but I realized they're so expensive. The average person can't afford it. That's not fair. I started a brand new company to produce all natural, healthy skincare products. Those of you see right there. The company is called BeTheArchitect.com. BeTheArchitect.com because you can control your life. You're yeah. the architect of your yeah. life. 